All right, hello everyone. My name is Dan Zendan, and welcome to Europe Universalis 4 with uh, the Cossacks as Japan. And as you might have noticed already, welcome to our new microphone, the Rode NT USB. So I ordered this mic the day before yesterday, and it arrived uh, yesterday. And now it's time to record with it. So I already did some testing with the settings, of course, yesterday evening. Um, so I might still do some tweaking. But already I think it sounds much, much better than the Guitar Hero microphone that I had been using up till now. Um, I might just do a side-by-side -side comparison video, but uh, for now suffice to say that this is a condenser USB microphone. Similar in style to the well-known Blue Yeti, for example. I did a lot of research and eventually I ended up with this mic. Um, so yeah, very happy with it up until now. Um, and also, because this mic has a lot less noise in the background, it's much easier to clean up the track in post-processing. So the game sounds are far less distorted than they sometimes were in earlier videos as well, might have noticed that. Right, so I hope you enjoy the new sound of the channel. Um, so let's jump in uh, straight away with our next video here. I think we were almost ready to declare on, I think, the Tlapane, right? In order to get a border with English Mexico and also to get uh, from the sea here, uh, access from the sea. Um, I think we were first looking into, uh, so, excuse me, I have to uh, quickly uh, reacquaint myself with the game again. I did watch my own videos, but still. Um, because I think we can send a colonist, for example, here, yes. Um, and I think we might still do that at some point. Oh, we've already got a colony here, of course, yeah. Derp. Uh, so we might get to the English that way anyway. But that's going to take some time, so what better way to uh, attack them than to just uh, uh, attack the Tlapani here. I think that might be great. My cats are actually uh, not in this room, but they uh, sure want to be in this room. So you might hear some uh, door knocking sounds, so to speak. I think uh, this is good. Uh, the Tlapanek. Is it the Tlapanek? It's the Tlapanek! Oh, I thought it was the Tlapani. Oh well. Um, I think that they have... Let's see, how many forces do they have? 8,000, yeah. They do have higher military level, yes. As I said, just <laughs> reacquainting myself here. Um, what kind of military level are we rolling currently? 11. Okay, so that should be easy enough. Uh, we could... Yeah, we are actually getting those guys in as well. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I think everything is still fine over here. I, I haven't looked into uh, much up a heat in a long, long time. We still have a 23 stack doing nothing, basically. Um, well, they are guarding us from rebellions. Do we have any rebellions coming in? Could tie separatists. Is that all that we have? That is actually quite amazing to me. We've been dealing with a lot of rebellions, but I suppose it's it's um, only fair because we haven't been doing a lot of conquering in these parts of the world. So there we go. Um, so actually, the only reason why they are still here is uh, because of the Majapa heat and their possibility of attacking us. How are they doing? 26k. So they are all right. Um, you know what? I think we might just split this up and um, no, no, I'm gonna split it, split it in half, and then get these guys over there, and then actually probably unmothball this. Do we have a fleet that is unmothballed? No. Well, we do, but not transports. Okay, so unmothball these guys, and then use them to um, actually. Let's get you over there and mothball you. There you go. And then we'll use you to, to uh, ferry those troops across once you've been repaired. I think that might uh, be a good thing. Allow armies of allies to load on this fleet. Very interesting. Did not know that that was an option. Could be uh, interesting. Okay, so here we are. I think... Yeah, we've got the Tarascan here. Lots of armies. Moving around, lots of battles going on. I think that this might be uh, just a good battle to take here. We should have a Casas Bella, yes. Oh, they will call in the Zapotec. I had not thought about that. Do we know about the Zapotecs? No, we don't. Okay, so what we'll first do is probably 
get the let's see split them we yeah there's another group of troops here that's not really all that great I think we'll try and find the Zapotec first to see what kind of troops we are looking at I don't want this nasty surprise uh, when it turns out that they have like uh, 60k troops I'm guessing that's not the case but you never know right okay is this the Zapotec yes they are okay let's see also 6k okay that's uh well, not also, um, only 6k, so that is uh, actually very doable, I think. Um, let's move into here. We're actually black flag now. I hate it when that happens. I'm not sure why it happens. Oh, we've got the colonial... Uh, they have colonies ne close to ours? Uh, Cast Valley against Zapotec, yes. Take New York in North America. Yes, they are next to the Cree, but the Cree aren't really ours. We can't annex them, unfortunately, as we uh, found out in the last episode. So we might just give this up. I don't want, want any uh, quarrels with uh, the English. Although we will have quarrels with them once we get another territory next to them here. Um, I don't want to go to war with them, just to clarify here. We're just looking to get a territory next to English Mexico so that we might um, westernize from that. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll sure uh, find out. Uh, okay, we can't actually go there anymore. Woku, the south of... Okay, this is a long story, which I'm, uh, I'm skipping here because I want to get to this war front, the pirates lose uh, a lot of ducats and five prestige, national tax modifier plus twenty percent, or uh, tell them to cease and desist. National tax modifier plus twenty percent. I think we might just do that for twenty years. That's amazing. Of course, Korea and Ming. Well, they are not going to like us for it, but they don't like us anyway. Prestige is all right. I think we'll take the hit. Let's do it. I'm blinded by all the monies. We lost a claim. Gained a claim? Lost a claim. Lost the uh, conquest castle belly against Ming. That is all fine. We will not be using this just yet because of this war that is coming up. How, how come we cannot work, work here anymore? Oh, it's because we don't have a conquistador there? Is that it? Oh, well. Okay, so we'll first collect those guys, and then we'll move in on them. Jeez. Lots of stuff to do here. Actually, that is not... Really... No, it's... Okay. I was uh, just uh, thinking of switching the, um, the leader here, but that's not good, because then this guy will probably be black flagged. I think that's why they are keep being black flagged all over again, because um, they don't have a conquistador at the helm anymore. Bit derpy, I think, but hey, there you go. Uh, do we have a mission for this Jesselton? I don't know where that is. Jessel. Just uh, quickly look this up. It's not Jesselton. It's Jesselton or something. Because of its uh, geographical position, we are not going to conquer that. That is uh, for sure. Okay. Let's, uh, I guess, uh, declare. Shall we? 13k should be good enough against these guys. Probably. Question mark? Uh, I don't really want to wait until we get these guys over there. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, that is uh, fair enough. Actually, uh, yes, you. All this clicking around. It's uh, a lot of clicking. And then you are now on the transport. Yes. And then we'll move you to this colony here. Except you can't. Uh, so we'll move you to there. That's gonna take a long time. Can we see how long? No, not really, I think. No. Uh, it's gonna, gonna, gonna take a long time because they are going all the way across Japan and then uh, to the New World. So, let's just uh, do it with uh, the troops that we have here. Let's declare war. Oh, now they've also allied with uh, the Aztec, but they won't join in. Because trust. Okay, fine. Uh, whoops. Should we do it? We won't call any, any allies. The Zapotec will join in, but that's fine. 
No negative modifiers. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Exciting, guys. Let's see what happens here. See if we can pick those guys up. That should be fine. They are not even at full morale. That is a very quick stack wipe, I think, yes. Now let's pick up those uh, zap attack dudes. And I think that that is the war done. We will just um, fully siege them. Very, very nice. Yes. Very good. Okay, that's all done. Um, so now I think we will go to their capital. And probably uh, leave a siege dude here first. Detach the siege. Move over there. Yes, that should be fine. Okay, that was an easy war. I think uh, all their troops are now gone. Yes, all is not. Um, detach the siege here as well, probably. Yes. And I think we'll just quickly carpet siege these uh, provinces and then go back to the main province here. Although we only have horses left now. That is a shame. This one is already almost done here. There we go. Let's move you there. Oh, that is actually capital. Capital, that won't work. So you go there instead. Fully seize them as well. So now the question becomes, do we also want to take land from these guys? I'm not sure if we do. Uh, you go there. Because we don't want to uh, agitate England, I think. It's not worth it, probably. So you move over there. You are all done already. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, actually, not sieging this because we have too few men. Um, got a peace offer already. We can, of course, uh, try and get some um, war reparations, for example, from these guys by separate piecing them. I think that might be good. There you go, move you there. Easy war, but still a very important one. It could be an important one. Um, yes, some siege is done. You go over there to fortify that siege. Uh, you can go home. Run no away, yes. There we go. Yes. Okay. I should speed this up already. It's going so quickly. Ah, I see. This is actual. Actually, uh, yeah, this is the capital. Okay. I was confused for a bit. Um, okay. So the most important, uh, most important thing here is to get a um, an actual. Jeez, flies flying around my head. A actual uh, province here next to English Mexico and that will then uh, hopefully allow us to uh, core that province and then westernize off of that but as I said before it's still um, going to be uh, difficult probably I'm not sure if it's gonna work uh, we rule as we see fit turn prestige or lose a lot, a lot of ducats I think we'll lose the ducats though siege of Tlapanic is now done and we will wait until this siege is also done See, the problem is, I'm not sure if this is close enough to be able to court. Um, so if that's the case, then we will either have to wait until this is done, and then court this uh, colony here. This attack is done, fully sieged. Um, or just uh, give it up and not do anything with it. The Aztec are actually in. Oh, that's interesting. Are these the Aztec? Yes. You shouldn't have joined, you guys. That uh, wasn't really a, a sound decision. Because now you will be uh, conquered. Okay. A zap attack. Let's... Uh, ah, they are actually the war leader. So probably can't separate piece them out. No. So we'll have to separate piece out the Teplanek instead. Oh, they are a vassal of zap attack. I did not know that. Okay. Whoops. Derp, derp. But that's actually fine. Um, we'll wait with uh, the Aztecs then, because then uh, I guess we'll separate piece those guys out instead. Meanwhile, can you uh, do some more discovery here? Oops, misclicked, but that's fine. More English Mexico even. Go away. Uh, you are not moving anymore, so we'll just uh, discover some more lands. How are our colonies doing, by the way? 
Maidu and Totaramas. It's gonna take some more time. We probably wanna get another colony going somewhere. Lots of troops. Ah, we've arrived. Very nice. Do we have another leader? Just uh, leader? Yes, we do. Let's split you up and let's go and hunt for the seven cities. Why don't you? Well, uh, we can always pull them back once they are needed in a war, which uh, they may they might at some point. Um, yeah. So just waiting around now. Do some more exploring. No, you can't. Okay. Well, we will still need to keep them around here. Aztec is almost done. Just want to separate piece them out for some uh, interesting stuff. Truce with the uh, Potawatomi has ended, which is fine. Okay, the Aztec are now fully sieged. Yes, and we... Oh, they are also a vassal of the Zapotec. Jeez, the Zapotec guys are very uh, powerful. So that's why they joined in as well. I think uh, they did not have a choice. Okay. In that case, um, no separate piecing. Um, just uh, getting some lands. And we can, in fact, seed, uh, let them seed these provinces. So that is actually very nice. Um, can we see the... Yeah, this is a gold province. This is a gold province. This is a fish province. This is gold as well, which might be nice. But, as I said before, we don't really want to agitate the uh, the English, so what I probably want to do is get those provinces, westernize, and then sell the province again. If westernization is possible. Um, okay. So, probably want... We can make them Japanese vassals as well. Very interesting. Probably want war operations. Uh, let's clear the offer first. War operations is nice. Uh, do they have a lot of money? No, they don't. Okay, they must have been uh, worrying quite a lot. Um, cancel subjects, not really interested in that. I think we'll just go like this. And uh, perhaps this? Might be nice. Um, how is the aggressive expansion? With six countries, probably England is among them. I'm guessing. But 5.9 is uh, hardly anything. So that is fine. Could also get a province here. Mm, along the coast. There's a lot of stuff we can do, but I don't think it's worth it. I really just only want to do this for westernization. I have to really restrain myself here from, <laughs> from not getting too much land. And it might seem like a waste to not do anything. But if we want more, we can always attack these uh, natives. And I really don't want to get too close to England or... Yeah. So, okay. Okay. I had to like, uh, uh, make sure that we are making the right decision and uh, explain to myself why we aren't taking any more land. But I think that's uh, still the right way to go here. Okay, so we are now next to English Mexico if we take this, yes. And we can make it a core, obviously, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to take it in this war. I think, at least, that's how it works. We could transfer trade power, but I don't think that's really worth it, because um, I think it takes up a, um, a slot, a uh, diplomatic slot. So we don't want that. Force military access, no. Okay. Bam. Okay. They have colonies next to ours. Yes, okay. That's fine and, fine and well. Okay, let's quickly core this. And probably this as well. Yes, we can just core them, I think. Okay, you're still hoping that this will work. We actually got a, a national decision here because um, probably we are next to English Mexico here. Anti-Christian edicts prevent any possible undermining of authority that Christianity may cause by, cause by issuing an edict to expel all Christian missionaries and demand that all converts renounce their new faith. Missionary strength plus two, better relations over time minus... No, I don't think we will do that. That's uh, quite a big penalty to uh, relations over time. So let's not do that. Okay, I think that's that. All done. So now it's a matter of waiting until this score, these scores are done. And hoping that English Mexico is not hating us. We could support independence. Interesting. At some point that might uh, be very interesting to do. Okay, so we'll probably... Um, oops. No, actually that's because there's another troop here. Keep searching for the seven cities. Go. 
Um, okay, so California has uh, created some troops of their own. And I think we might just um, feed them some more provinces by colonizing here. Only 13% though. That is uh, not so amazing. Actually horrible. I'm not sure why that is. We could go inland instead. But I think, again, that will um, be added to California. So I'm not sure how much that will um, help us out. Terrace, 30, uh, 30 gold coins, cents. <laughs> so that's not impressive at all. Um, hmm. Okay, let's let's take a quick look at how we would go about doing this. We might just start colonizing everything here and uh, feed California everything that we uh, conquer. Mm, could also start maybe a new colony somewhere here because I think this is a different region. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Um, geographical areas. So this is all California. So we do have colonies here, which are in Oregon, but they are added to California. But still, I think if we, for example, um, go with this, then probably that will make a different. Oh, wait a second. This is California as well. But that's Cascadia. Okay, this is nice. We would um, it would be great if we could uh, create Japanese Mexico, for example. And I think that might be a possibility. Um, for now, I think um, let's just let those core run, cores run. Um, not sure if we will make this uh, in this episode. It's not too difficult. Also, of course, before we start westernizing, we would ideally like to. Um, uh, we can't because we are objects and just ideally like to have a lot of points in the bank. Um, it's costing uh, thirty two hundred. So yeah. That's not not great. I must admit. Excellent viceroys, global terrorists. Very nice. So actually, that has raised what we get from yes, O thirty six. Immoral prices. Okay, force the merchants to lower their prices. We should not meddle in these uh, things. We must pay for and distribute what bread there is. Let's take a look. Let's meanwhile let it run because all we are doing is coring this stuff basically. Um, Kroji has low loyalty. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. We will have to pause now. Uh, Kroji is actually not involved here. It's all about the merchants. They are fine. They do not have a lot of influence, though. Um, gain 10 influence. 11 regiments rise up? No. Merchant guild lose 15 loyalty. That should be fine, I think. Well, this might be nice. I think that's the best thing uh, we can really spare the money. It's a shame though. Uh, let's see, levying additional taxes, we need men. No, we don't need men, so we'll go with uh, the ducats. And there we go. All fixed. Very good. What's this? English Mexico as well, geez. They are expanding very rapidly here. Okay, so let's just start a uh, an additional colony here. Might as well fill up these uh, little patches of land here. Right, uh, this is not a colony anymore. Right, so let's move there. Should be fine, yes. No, actually, let's uh, split you up and bring you over there as well. Just in case that these... Uh... Oh, we can take them. Oh well, fair enough as well. I um, did not know if those um, 1k guys would be enough. Turned out that they would be. Okay, accept the transfer trade power. Whoops. Oops, oops, oops. What did I click away? Don't think it was important. Right? Right. Can't find it back now. Native's not assisting. They will help us again. Ming now, jeez. Ally with Korea. Let's improve relations here. Just to uh, prevent them from attacking us. English Mexico is starting to like us now. Plus 46. They can't do anything, um, of course. They can't ally us, I think. Because they are... Uh, English Mexico is a vassal in England, yes. But I think we have already improved... Whoops, relations with England. Uh, plus 41. Yeah, that's fine. Protectorate. 
So interesting. Okay, let's keep it running. I want to see what happens when those cores take away. Let's get it to speed 5 instead. We discovered an agent. Ah. Okay, so Majapahit is trying to get a claim on us. And succeeding, of course. Luang Prabang entered the military lines with Ming. Okay. Lost in mine and space. Send out the hunter. Uh, send the hunter out again. Local movement speed minus 50. For uh, not a lot. Or lose 5 prestige. Yes, let's go for that. Don't really care about the movement speed, to be honest. Curing is going nicely. Poison rock. Continue on foot if you have to. Local movement speed minus 50. Okay. Jeez. Is that these guys? I don't know. Lost the co colonialism against... Uh, so that's probably because these colonies are now part of... The 13 colonies, yes. Colonial venture. Ventures. Invest in the naval force or abandon the idea of naval supremacy. Um, diplomatic technology cost minus 10. Plus 10. I have ship cost. I think we will go with this because I'm not planning on building any ships. Right, that makes sense, right? Um, okay. Keep going. Improved relations with English Mexico is done. Some natives are rising up. This is a bit of a large stack, I must admit, for those uh, 2,000 natives. 500 natives, even. Okay, coring is almost done. Let's speed it down a bit. Don't want to overshoot it. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Poor government policies. We've chosen the right path. Or lose ducats. Lose ducats again. Okay, here we go. We've gained a core. Yes, you can now westernize. Woohoo! Finally. Okay. Amazing stuff. I um, was quite excited to see if that was going to happen. And we can. Uh, the problem is, to be fair, that we do not have a lot of points in the back. Although... Actually, we do have about 2,500, I think. Yeah, roughly. I won't do the real math, but this is a guesstimate. Uh, we have gained some cores, of course. Um, and I think we might just uh, start it as quickly as we want, because um, I, would, I really want to get rid of these provinces and cede them to uh, English Mexico, or sell them, rather. I think that should be doable. Uh, because I don't really want to get in their way, as I said before. I keep repeating myself, but that's basically how it goes. Um, westernize, right. Westernization will reduce our stability by three. We will then slowly westernize, and our progress will depend on our monarch power. Each month, up to five monarch power will be drawn from each category. Countries with a higher development level will westernize more slowly. When the progress is finished, which will require uh, 3,200 power in total, we will change our technology group to Western. Now, it's worth noting that I don't think we will get the Western unit types anymore. I think that that was changed in some uh, previous patch. But we do get the actual um, cheaper cost for technology. So we will be able to actually catch up with, for example, English Mexico, which is at level 14 now. Actually, we aren't that far behind, just a couple of levels. And that will eventually probably help us as well against uh, Ming. Because they won't be able to Westernize, I hope. So, should be very interesting. I think we should just start it now. Um, we will drop stability by 3, so that will bring us to minus 1. I think we will up that to perhaps plus 1 or just 0. Of course, each month up to 5 monarch power will be drawn from each category. That means that um, the points that we make, actually we can support it just by the points that we have now. Because we are at 775, so we won't get any military points, but still two um, still two diplomatic power and two administrative power each month. For as long as we are westernizing. So, basically, this shouldn't change. If I read this correctly, I'm not sure that I have, and I'm not sure if that's how it works. But I think that's how it's uh, going to happen. National unrest will be plus 5, advisor cost will be plus 50. Okay, let's do it. Okay, black news indeed. Stability drop, westernization. We have started our westernization effort. Okay, let's... Jeez, um, our cats. Really? They really want to get in the room. Oh well. Let's boost it. And I think let's boost it again. It's only 93. And then we'll quickly, quickly wrap up this uh, episode so I can uh, calm my cats. Nothing is uh, to worry about here. Uh, yeah, so very uh, impressive. Uh, 
uh, episode, if I do say so myself. I um, like that we have finally been able to get westernization going. Um, it's going to take a long, long time. Can we see how, my, how much time it's going to cost us? Changes January 1600. So it's going to take us uh, 18 years. That's actually doable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in the next episode. We'll probably have to do a lot of damage. Uh, uh, a lot of battling against um, uh, rebellions is what I want to say. Uh, because of the national unrest. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I... Th yeah. <laughs> yes, that's how it works. Well, uh, not everything will pop, but it's going to take a long, long time for us. I'm not sure as well what happens if we cede this province now to England. Um, will this still continue, Westernization? It could. I will have to do some research on that. It might, you know, and in that case, we will uh, sell it probably. Right, now I'm off. Uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you like uh, the new microphone sound as well. Despite the cat noises in the background, you know, that's how it goes. Um, if you do, then uh, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, of course. Right, see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.